October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I am a breast cancer survivor and thriver, and so is Robin. And this year, unfortunately, more women will be diagnosed, but there are new advancements in prevention and treatment, and it turns out to be less could be more. Joining us now, Angelina Jolie's breast surgeon and the co-founder of the Pink Lotus Breast Center is Dr. Christy Funk. Dr. Funk, thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Amy. So this is very exciting. Three years ago, when I was diagnosed, I had genetic or genomic testing. Mm -hmm. It was called Anka score Anka Anka type. type. Mm -hmm. Things have advanced so much even since then. Tell us about it. They have. So this is so exciting. MindAct was just published in the New England Journal of Medicine about five weeks ago. This looked at 6,700 breast cancer patients, basically any operable tumor size and three or fewer positive lymph nodes were eligible. They looked at these women in two different ways. The first was genomic testing called MammaPrint. They look at 70 different tumor markers on like a DNA fingerprint to look at the biology. What is the potential for this cancer from a biology standpoint to come back again in a metastatic place like liver or lung? It's Which is terminal. Yes, it's incurable. We can manage it, but it's incurable. High or low risk versus clinical factors. These are things like patient's age, tumor size, tumor grade, positive nodes, the stuff that we doctors use to say, mm, I think you should do the chemo. So they were either high or low risk. So if both tests were high, high, you need chemo. If they were low, low, you don't. The interesting group is this discordant group where mammoprint biology said, this is mellow, don't do chemo. But the doctors, the clinicians would look at things and go, I think you should do the chemo. So right. there were 1,550 women in this group, randomized, chemo, no chemo. They were followed five to nine years out. There was no statistically significant difference in metastatic recurrence between That's the two That's incredible. Groups. And so less treatment for some women, and that has a huge impact in terms of dealing with this disease. And I want to also point out, because just very quickly, I want you to hit this hard. Okay. Because <laughs> I've been very vocal about when women should get mammograms and how often they should get mammograms. Confusing and dangerous headlines out there. Very dangerous. So this is my advice. You begin annual mammography for normal risk women at age 40 every year. You don't skip and you don't stop until your life expectancy is less than five years to go. And then quickly, a few things you could be taking. Okay, three cups of green tea a day cuts okay. breast cancer in half. Folate for my drinkers out there, 600 micrograms a day mm -hmm. drops the alcohol risk. And turmeric, curcumin. Dr. Funk, thank you so much. We appreciate it.